Hello everyone, I want to welcome you once again to today's prayer ministration for our 21 days baptism of prayer. It has been awesome, it has been great, and it has been glorious. Today is day 20. Wow! <laughs> I want to welcome everybody to today's episode. We are gradually coming to a close. Today is day 20. Can you imagine that? When we started on Easter Monday, it was as if we are not going to end. But God has been faithful. A lot of testimonies are all rolling in. And I know that your own will soon be the next in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you once again. I want to thank all those who have been making their own Windows Mind contribution towards our ministry and the care of orphans. Tomorrow is the last day, as I said, I will be, I'll be making an appeal. We don't force people to give. We don't compel people to give. But you must know that the ministry that is blessing you today it is because people gave that brought us, you know, that enabled us to get to this level. So I want to, I will be appealing to you tomorrow. And, uh, and I know that God is going to bless you. Amen. Amen. So I welcome you and it is my prayer that my God will do for you what you cannot do for yourself. I want to tell you that I have been so blessed from day one to this day 20. I have been so, so, so blessed. Amen. Somebody said yesterday, Father, yesterday was wow. I never understood, I did not understand those things uh, you were saying until I heard them from you. It's like that. As we pray together like this, it gives an avenue for revelation, knowledge, and deep insight. Amen. So I thank all of you for staying tuned. Don't forget that to have. Um, um, we are already in the month of May and the rosary. Hey, uh, I have prayed my own this morning. You know, you must pray your rosary. Do your best to pray your rosary because from Monday, our attention will be given to the rosary. Then immediately after the rosary, then impartation begins. Please begin to get ready for another, like, should I call it a part two? Because I'll be touched on so many things I have not touched on this book. So I'll be touched on so many things. So just go and get ready. But meanwhile, I will also encourage you to go and like my Facebook page. Follow CIPN. CIPN means Catholic Intercessory Prayer Ministry. Follow CIPN with Father Alfred Agonaho. Because this Facebook I'm using now. It's a personal Facebook page and it is full. A lot of people want to be part of this, but they cannot because I've gotten 5,000 people. But if you go and like the page, the page can take a million, two million, and so on and so forth. So I'm already telling you because I may be switching over to that side. And so if you don't like that page, you may not be able to follow. So I don't want you to, I don't want you to miss out from this impartation. The reason I've been telling you, go to my Facebook page. You will see it. If you type, you will see my picture. I was praying, I had the microphone. Just click like. You see like there. Click it. That brings you into the page. And you know, you begin to follow from there. Amen. Hallelujah. We are Easter people. And hallelujah is our song. Amen. Yes. Yeah. So, today is day 20. And the thing is, oh death, I am not your victim. Oh death, haya. Today is another day. Oh death, I am not your victim. Haya. Anybody planning death upon your house, it is not your portion in the name of Jesus. The theme of today is, oh death, I am not your victim. Now begin to call your watch party, begin to write your intention there. You see, 
it, I went through this uh, video yesterday and I saw some intentions of people. I have to go and search those people out on Messenger and pray with them. So if you don't write your intention, I read them, I go through them. I'm not joking. Uh, as the Spirit directs me, I can put a call across or I just say a prayer. So it is important you type your intentions, then you type your amen. Amen means so shall it be for me. Yes. And the Bible says the promises of God, all of them, they are all yes and amen. So type your yes there, type your amen there. You know, death will not be upon your daddy in the name of Jesus. Death will not be upon your house. You are not a victim of death. And that is what we are looking at today. And today I will be speaking a blessing over your oil. And you will anoint yourself wherever you are. And I tell you, you will come into the protection of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, as soon as the oil came upon David, the Holy Spirit came and rest upon him and remained with him. And what will be the function of the Holy Spirit when you are anointed? He fights for you. He defends you. He gives you the right word to say and save you from every demonic stronghold and wickedness. Amen. So quickly, you will see the reading we are going to take. It pertains to death. And you see, um, Jehoshaphat was saved because he was able to cry out. So we are going to be crying out to the in prayer. Oh death, I am not a victim. I am not your victim. I am praying for somebody right now. You are not a victim of burial this year. Your picture will not be used for obituary this year. I pray for parents who are following this program. None of your children will ever bury before your eyes. No one will go down before your eyes. I know the pains of parents burying children. But I'm speaking to somebody right now. You will not bury your son. You will not bury your daughter. You will not bury members of your family this year. None of your family members will be a victim of coronavirus. You will not expire before your time. I am prophesying on you right now. My God will preserve your life. My God will save your life. My God will save your household. Amen. I am speaking to somebody right now. You will not die, you will live. And you will declare the goodness of the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Yes. So today is the day that is given to that. So before we end, make sure you yourself have also typed in there, Oh death, I am not your victim. It is important that you stress that in. And I tell you, what you declare with your mouth is what your eyes will see and, and your hand will handle. Amen. So we go straight to the reading. Amen. Then King Ahab, 2 Chronicles chapter 18. 2 Chronicles chapter 18, 28 to 34. Then King Ahab of Israel and King Jehoshaphat of Judah went to attack the city of Ramoth in Gilead. Ahab said to Jehoshaphat, As we go into battle, Ahab said to Jehoshaphat, as we go into battle, I will disguise myself, but you wear your royal garment. So, the king of Israel went into battle in disguise. The king of Syria had ordered his chariot commanders to attack no one else except the king of Israel. So, when they saw King Jehoshaphat, they all thought that he was the king of Israel. Amen. And they turned to attack him. But Jehoshaphat gave a shout, and the Lord God rescued him and turned the attack away from him. Jehoshaphat, listen, Jehoshaphat gave a shout, and the Lord God rescued him and turned the attack away from him. Amen. The chariot's commander saw that he was not the king of Israel, so they stopped pursuing him. But by chance, however, a Syrian soldier shot an arrow which struck 
King Ahab between the joints of his armor. I am wounded, I am wounded, he cried out to the chariot driver. Turn around and pull me out of the battle. While the battle raged on, King Ahab remained propped up in his chariot, facing the Syrians. At sunset, he died. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. What is this passage talking about? He's talking about the incident of war that the king of, of Ahab had against a city called Ramoth, Ramoth in Gilead. But Ahab did not go to this battle alone. What was it that Ahab did? Ahab went to meet the king of Judah, King Jehoshaphat, and said, Please, I want you to join me in this battle. I want you to join me in this battle. So um, Jehoshaphat obliged and you know came to Israel to join force with Ahab to go into battle. But Ahab said, did something. Ahab said, Please, I am not going to dress like the king. I will not wear my royal regalia. I will not go with the, my paraphernalia. I will just disguise myself. But you, king of uh, Judah, Jehoshaphat, you, you dress like the king. But I will not dress like the king. You dress like the king. And so, Ahab disguised like an ordinary man. But the king of Judah, uh, Jehoshaphat, you know, dressed like the king. And so they went into the battle. Unknowing to Ahab and Jehoshaphat that the king of Syria had gave an instruction to the commander that, look, nobody will want in this battle except the king. Don't focus on anybody. Focus on only the king. But meanwhile, Jehoshaphat has dressed like the king of Israel. And he wasn't the king of Israel. And the king of Israel was the target. But the king of Israel said, I will not dress like the king of Israel. You dress like the king. Let me disguise. Wow. You will not die the death of another man. I prophesy on you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will not die the death of another man. Every death laid for another person, it is not your portion. You will not die the death of another man. Oh, you will not die the death of another man. The trap of death, the snare of death, the snare of death, you will not run into it in the name of Jesus. Oh, you, I said you will not run into it in the name of Jesus. I speak for your preservation. I speak for your protection. I speak for your preservation. I speak for your protection. I speak for your covering. The covering over my head, I release it upon you now. The covering upon my life, I prophesy it on you now. I speak for your covering in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will not die the death of another man. You will not die the death of another person. Every trap of death, every snare of death, every pit of death that have been dug, hey, you are not available. Oh, death, I am not your victim. I decree upon your life today. You are looking at me now. You are not a victim of obituary. You are not a, even if death has almost succeeded, you are not a victim. And because you are not a victim, you will not die, you will live. And we declare the goodness of the Lord. It doesn't matter how the death is coming. Through sickness, through accident, whatever operation of the enemy to bring death upon your life. I am speaking to somebody right now. You are not a victim of death. You are not a victim of death. Your children are not victims of death. Your family is not a victim of death. They are not victims of death. I decree and I declare, you will not die before your time. You will not expire before your time. I prophesy on you. Anyone calling your name to obituary, you are not available. You are not available. You are not available. I decree and I declare, I say you are not available. Anyone calling your children's name in order to pepper you, in order to frustrate you, they want to attack your children. What attack your children attacks you. But I'm praying for you right now. Before they make that move, I stop them before they stop your children. I stop them before they stop you. 
I stop them before they stop your house. I stop them before they stop your family. We can begin to type your amen there right now because the blessing, the prophecy has started. Anyone calling your name to go too soon. Oh, death. My, these ones are not available. You are not available. You are not a victim of burial. You are not a victim of kidnap to kill. You are not a victim of kidnap to kill. You are not a victim of kidnap to kill. I decree and I declare by the power in the name of Jesus that strange dream, that evil dream that is suggesting death, that dream of obituary, that dream of burial, that dream, that dream of a terrible demonic masquerade always chasing your life, that dream being beaten by a serpent or a scorpion, I decree and I declare every plot of death, whoever is calling your name to obituary, they shall answer to your name. I profess, I I profess that on you. Whoever is calling your name to obituary, hey, they shall answer to that name. They shall answer to that name. They shall answer to that name. I decree and I declare whoever, whoever is calling your name to go too soon. I don't know where they are calling your name. It may be, it may be from your village. It may be from, from your, your marital ground. It may be from your household. I don't know where they are calling your name. Every evil altar that is that bears your picture and your names are your names are being called. Your name is being called there. I replace your name with the name of the caller. I replace your name with the name of the caller. I replace your name with the name of the caller. You will not bury your children. No one is permitted to die in your family this year. No one is permitted to die around your household this year. I decree and I declare anyone calling your name for obituary, their name shall replace your own in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Ancient of Days. The king of Syria said, it is the king of Israel that we are targeting in this battle. So, don't face anybody. He was giving instruction to the commander. Tell the soldier, don't face anybody. Attack only the king. And the king of Israel said to the king of Judah, Jehoshaphat, he said, you dress like the king of Israel. Why I disgust myself? But what happened? As the battle was going on, they saw somebody that was dressed like the king. And they thought that was the king of Israel. Not knowing that that was the king of Judah. And Judah had no business in this battle. He was only, Jehoshaphat had no business in this battle. He was only invited. But he wasn't the king of Israel. He wasn't the king of Israel. He is the, he is the king of Judah. But hear me, as they faced, they pursued the king of Judah, Jehoshaphat, and they were determined to kill him. But when Jehoshaphat saw how the people, how the Assyrian army had turned against him, the Bible says, he began to shout. He began to cry. Jehoshaphat gave a shout. Jehoshaphat gave a shout and the Lord rescued him and turned the attackers away from him. He gave a shout. I come this day to give a shout on your behalf. Who is chasing to kill you? I give a shout on your behalf. May the hand of God rebuke them. May the hand of God rebuke them. May the hand of God rebuke them. I have come to give a shout on your behalf. I have come to give a shout on behalf of your children. I have come to give a shout on behalf of your wife. I have come to give a shout on behalf of your husband. I have come to give a shout on behalf of your family. Who is chasing them with death? May the hand of God rebuke Rebuke them. May the hand of God rebuke that hand. May the hand of God rebuke them. May the hand of God rebuke them. May the finger of God rebuke them now. Who is chasing you with death? Who is chasing you with obituary? Who is calling you at the middle of the night? I did marable sata madara da 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 da. Hey, who is calling you at the middle of the night? I come to give a shout on your behalf. May the hand of God rebuke them. 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 If I be a man of God, I prophesy upon your life. Hey, you parents, 
You will not bury your children. You will not bury your children. Your children will finish well. They shall gladden your heart. Every evil eye looking at you right now. Every evil eye looking at your family. Every evil eye looking at your house. Hey, they shall go blind. 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 Anyone calling your neighbor to obituary to go too soon. Anyone calling your name to an exit away from this world when it is not your time. I decree and I declare they shall die your death. 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 I prophesy. Anyone calling your name to obituary when it is not your time. Hey, they shall die your death. The word of God says the one that dig the pit, they shall fall in the sand. Anyone calling your name to the grave, every power that is sponsoring the grave against you, I decree and I declare, may the grave swallow them, 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 in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. King Jehoshaphat began to cry. But the Bible says, and the Lord rebuked the armies away from there. I have come to shout on your behalf, to give a shout on your behalf. My God will fight for you and give you victory. My God will fight for you. I say, my God will fight for you. You will not die, you will live. You will not be counted among the dead. You shall be counted among the living. I prophesy upon your house. Your house shall be complete. You will not bury your father when it is not the time. You will not bury your mother when it is not the time. I decree and I declare your house shall be complete for you. Your father has suffered for you. He should reap the fruit of his labor. I decree and I declare so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Look at King Jehoshaphat. He was almost dying the death of another king. That is not your portion. I say that is not your portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Let's go to the prayer point now. I just feel like today is a very hot day in my life because we are talking of a, we are talking about death. Oh, death, I am not your victim. If you know what death can do, if you know what death can do, oh goodness, then you will not take what I'm saying now lightly. Amen. Let's go to the prayer point of today. Number one, prayer point number one. Arrow of death assigned to kill me before my time. I return you back to sender. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Arrow of death. The Bible says a soldier shot an arrow and it was the arrow that killed Ahab. But we pray today. Arrow of death assigned to kill me. Arrow of death coming in form of accident. Arrow of death coming in form of sickness. Arrow of death. Every miss is coming from. Hey, I return it back to send up. I return it back to send up. I return it back to send up. Every arrow of death assigned against your house. Every arrow of death assigned against your children. Every arrow of death assigned against your family. Every arrow of death assigned against your household. I return it back. I return it back. I return it back. Arrow of death coming like in form of sickness, arrow of death, coming in form of accident, arrow of death, coming in form of food poisoning. I don't know the means, hear the word of the Lord, I return it back to sender, I return it back to sender, I return it back to sender, every arrow of death, determined to bring you down, I return it back in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Arrow of death, Arrow of death, you will not die the death of another person. Hey, yeah. He said, Every arrow of death assigned. When you talk about arrow of death, not the physical arrow, it may be the charm that was buried, it may be the spell that has been cast, it may be the accident that has been predetermined, and it may be the food, it may be the poison that has been put in the form of food. These are arrows. But every arrow of death. Assigned to finish you, you are not available. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, you are not a victim of burial. Your house is not a victim of burial. Your children are not victim of burial. I decree and I declare, you will not die, you will live. Your children will not die, they will live. The word of God says, with long life, He will satisfy you. You are not a victim of death. Prayer point number two. Prayer point number two. Every trap of untimely death 
prepared for me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Every trap of a timely death prepared for me. I stretch forth my hand towards you and I speak as your man of God. Every trap of death prepared towards your house. Every trap of death prepared towards your children. Every trap of death prepared towards your family. Every trap of death you are not available. I command it backfire. I command it backfire. I command it to 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 backfire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Every trap of a timely death. Every look at the people that Jesus healed and brought back to life in his. Jesus brought three people back to life in his ministry on earth. The first person Jesus brought back to life died on timely death. The daughter of Jairus, he was aged 12 years old. She died on timely death. And Jesus said she's not dead, but she's sleeping. And Jesus brought her back to life. She was 12 years old on timely death. The second person Jesus brought back from death was the son of the widow of nine. And Jesus said to him, young man, I order you, get up, a young man, hallelujah, a young man, a young man. Jesus said, young man, who will take care of your mother? Your mother, you are the only one your mother has to rely on. So I tell you, young man, get up. And the young man, young man got up, sat up, and present. Jesus carried him and gave him, gave him to the mother. The third person that Jesus brought back to life was Lazarus, a young man. When I was a young man. He was a young man. And Jesus said, Lazarus, I order you, come out. These were all young people. So, second prayer point is saying, every trap of a timely death, every trap of a timely death, I prophesy on somebody hearing me right now, every trap of a timely death, designed, programmed, projected, to take you to your early grave. It backfires. 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 It backfires in the name of Jesus. Every trap of a timely death. Oh, it backfires right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Prayer point number three. Every secret arrangement. Aha. Every secret. Begin to type your prayer point there because heaven is responding to somebody right now. Every secret arrangement of household wickedness to terminate my life be exposed and destroyed. I have got a prayer point in this book. Oh goodness. Hey, what a book. Every secret arrangement. Do you know, oh goodness, how so wickedness can have a secret arrangement for your for your obituary? If you want to know what I'm talking about, ask Absalom what he did to his brother Amnon. Absalom and Amnon, the same father, but not the same mother. But Absalom killed Amnon. But what happened? Absalom invited Amnon for his celebration. And he had not forgiven Amnon for what Amnon did to his sister two years ago. For Amnon raped the sister, like the sister of Absalom, who was her, her half, his own half sister, and who was um, there to care for him. And the Bible says Absalom did not forgive Amnon. Never. Two years after, he invited Amnon. To come and have a celebration with him. So what happened? He prepared. He said, "Wait, he comes here. Don't let him." Who was Absalom discussing with other fellow family people? If he comes here, you must cut off his head. See, household every secret arrangement. Amnon did not know. Amnon did not know. Amnon did not know. He has forgotten what he himself did to Tema, the sister of Absalom. Have his own half sister. He has forgotten. When he got there, he saw. The Bible says the feast that Absalom prepared was befitting a king. 
when Absalom, when, 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 when Amnon got there, he said, wow. And Am, Absalom hugged him and said, oh, my brother, how are you? How is everything? Please come, 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 come. Come and take this. Come and take what you care for. I, 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 I'm not saying I will care for your subject. I'm trying to say, are you okay? I cannot be having this kind of big feast. You are talking of subject. Come on, give him exotic wine, Italian wine. Seven years ago, ten years ago, wine. That one that you, the more it lasts, the more it's, it's active. And you know, my brother, how can you come to my feast? You are drinking mere wine, mere, mere soft, five alive. Come on, give him. Uh, 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 NSC giving all the exotic wine 40 p.m. percent alcohol volume and they gave it to Amnon and Amnon began to drink and he got to a point when he became drunk Absalom said now attack him cut off his head Absalom killed his own brother who did he negotiate that with look household he prepared for it it was, his, it was an arrangement it was a secret arrangement he killed his brother i pray for you right now see every secret arrangement of household wickedness every secret arrangement of household wickedness to terminate my life i pray for you every secret arrangement of household wickedness to poison you to poison you to poison you to terminate your life it backfires it backfires. It backfires in the name of Jesus. May it be exposed. May they confess. I pray for somebody right now. Every secret arrangement. They are calling you for family meeting. They are calling you for, for a, a, a village meeting. Every secret arrangement to terminate your life. Every secret arrangement by heart of wickedness to terminate your life. To finish you off. Hey, it shall be exposed. 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 It shall be exposed in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. I know of somebody that died last year in Nigeria. I don't want to call names. No need because I mean, the whole world is looking at me right now. But what happened to him? He was not sick. He was fine and healthy. He ate afternoon food or you call it lunch <laughs> Africa was the afternoon food <laughs> he ate lunch <laughs> he ate lunch you know the wife prepared the table he ate lunch and it was fine but when it was 4pm in the evening he said we have a village meeting we have a village meeting the wife said that it was even long you came from out. Why not rest today? The man said, No, 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 no. We, I, I cannot afford to meet that village meeting. It is held once in a month. I cannot. The wife tried to pressurize him to stay by. He didn't stay. So he went to that village meeting. So he met other village members. They were all gisting and drinking, palm wine, everything, all drinking and eating. After everything, he were about to go. Let us go. The next thing, as he got up, I fell and died. He won't understand. That was that he fell. He got up and fell. Before they rushed into the hospital, he died. So some said it was heart failure. Some said, okay, the day Jesus healed the woman that was bent over. Jesus said, this woman, head bound by Satan. But you see, they're bending over the nature of that woman. But like a, a, a rheumatoid arthritis. A doctor will say, oh, this is a rheumatoid arthritis. This is arthritis. But you see, Jesus said, this one, head bound by Satan. Doctor may say, this is, this is an arthritis. But Jesus told us the real thing that was responsible for that woman's bending over. He said, one Satan has head bound. So people were saying, oh, a blood pressure, maybe it was heart attack, maybe he had uh, this one. Keep quiet there. Look at this. Secret arrangements. I pray for someone who listening to me now. Every secret arrangement to finish you, every secret arrangement to terminate your life, when it is not your time, it shall backfire. 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 
it shall backfire. I pray for you right now. Every secret arrangement to lure you, hey, Cain lured Abel. It was a special strategic arrangement. He lured him out from the house and he killed his brother in the field. Every secret arrangement to lure you away from your house. Every secret arrangement to finish you up. Begin to type amen for your father. Type amen for your mother. Type amen for your brother. Type amen for your sister. Every secret arrangement to lure you to your early grave when it is not your time. I decree and I declare it shall backfire. 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 Every secret arrangement to to lure you to your timely death, every secret arrangement to lure you to die before your time, it shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Prayer point number four. Prayer point number four. Wasters of destiny. Wasters of destiny. I my life. I my life. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Wasters of destiny. Eye in your life. Wait, they, are, they are wasters of destiny. They are destiny wasters. Wasters. Arm robbers are destiny wasters. Kidnappers are destiny wasters. Wasters of wasters of destiny. They are they are eyeing your life. They want to bring you down. Wasters of destiny. Wasters of destiny. May they go blind. May they go blind. I don't know how they have been eyeing your life. They are eyeing your life. They are eyeing your children's life by the reason of envy, by the reason of jealousy. Every waster of destiny around your life, may they be wasted. May they be wasted. May they be wasted. May they be wasted. I prophesy you shall fulfill purpose. You shall fulfill purpose. You shall fulfill purpose. You shall fulfill your destiny. You shall finish well. Your life will end in praise. I stretch forth my hand to you. I prophesy on you. Your life will end in praise. You will finish well. You will finish with congratulations. You will fulfill your destiny. Every waste of destiny, I decree and I declare, may they be wasted. May they be wasted. Who is calling your name at the middle of the night? Who is blowing powder into the air at the middle of the night and they are calling your name? May their name replace your own. May their name replace your own. In the name of Jesus. I will give you a testimony that happened some years ago. I was driving along a busy street in Benin, Nigeria. I was driving. And as I was driving, as I was driving, my phone ran. And I look at my phone. It was a number from the UK. And then I parked the car and I said, let me attend to this person. And I began to listen to this person. What happened? This lady in her uh, early 30s, early 30s, like 31, 32, she was in a shopping mall in UK, one of those big Lady shopping mall, and as she was busy shopping, 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 and shopping, suddenly what happened? They, she heard her name. She heard her name, her strong native name. She heard her name. It was like somebody that uh, knows her very well called her. So, because she felt that somebody was behind her. She answered to that call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, if I'm saying this thing, this is the same as oh God, I thank you. Father, I just thank you. She heard her name in a shopping mall in UK. And because she felt that it was somebody that she knew, she answered and turned back. And there was nobody. And she said, Ah, I heard my name. She went to the other lane. There was nobody. I, I, I heard my name. She went to the other side. There was nobody. She was busy looking around. Looking around. I heard my name. I heard my name. From that day, her problem started. Every night, she was being chased with terrible masquerade. Some of them were carrying coffee. She was being, every night, she was destined to be killed. 
she had already answered that name. But it was in the village they called her name. It was in the UK there. She only heard it in the UK there. What I am telling you now is it's not a joke. And I listened to her. I packed my car and I went into serious prayer. She said, Father, I can't sleep at night. My life is at stake. The enemy wants to kill me. Ever since I answered to that name, I am dying. Hey, people, I have gone to the hospital. Doctor said nothing is wrong with you. They cannot see anything. But I know from that day, I answered to that name. They called me. I am in the UK. They called me. I, I was in a shopping mall when they called me. And from since that time, it has been terrible. And then I, I look. I parked my car. I said, my dear, wait. Let me call you because I have enough card on my credit on my phone. So she, she got the call. Then I called her. What was I doing? I entered into work. I just wind up. Then parked my car very well. I enter into prayer. I prayed for almost 45 minutes, breaking yoke. Anyone calling me, I pray for you right now. Anyone calling your name to a, for obituary, anyone calling your name to, for God too soon, anyone calling your name, I don't know who took your picture. I, they took your picture from Facebook, they took your picture from Instagram, they took your picture and they have printed it out and presented it to every evil altar. I prophesy whatever altar they are calling your name, it shall backfire, it shall backfire, it shall backfire. Every strength power that is giving strength to that altar, whoever is presenting your name, there, they shall expire before your eyes. Their name shall replace your own. Their name shall replace your own. You will not die before your time. Your children will not expire. You will not die before your time. I decree and I declare you will not die before your time. Who is calling your name? Makata Rigabayeta. Who is calling your name for obituary? Who is calling your name to an early grave? You will not die. You will live. You will not die. You will live. I profess on you. Hey. You will not die, you will live. You will not die, you will live. You will not die, you will live. You will not answer to a straight name. You will not answer to a straight name. You will not answer to a straight name. I rebuke of victory. Hey, oh death. These ones are not victims. You are not a victim. 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 Every evil grave that they have done to bury you, it shall not stand. It shall not come to pass. Obituary shall not stand. It shall not come to pass. Gone too soon shall not stand. It shall not come to pass. I profess upon your life. You shall not die. You will live. Who is calling your name? Their name shall replace your own. 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 Somebody shout a loud amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Our life became miserable because she answered to the strange name. I don't know the name you are asked, you are, you are, you are, that you are answering right now. I don't know who is calling you in your dream. People wearing black garment, they are chasing you. They want to come like a snake, they pursue you. I have prayed, look, today I am ready for somebody. You are not permitted to die when it is not your time. I decree and I declare every gang up, they gang up against Daniel. They die the death of Daniel. I prophesy anyone ganging up against you, anyone plotting your death, they gang up against Daniel. They die the death of Daniel. Him a gang up against Mordecai. He died the death of Mordecai. I decree and I declare anyone ganging up against you in your place of work, in your place of assignment, they shall expire before your eyes. They shall expire before before your eyes, they can expire before your eyes. Who is ganging up against you? They ganged up against Daniel. They plotted against Daniel. They conspired against Daniel. Then they died the death of Daniel. Anyone ganging up against you, they shall die your death. They shall expire. They shall go down. They shall go down. The grass shall open up and swallow them like Korah, Datan, and Abiram. The grass shall open up. The grass shall open up. The grass shall open up. Who is conspiring to kill you? Who is conspiring to finish you? Who is conspiring to poison you? I decree and I declare, just as they conspire to kill Daniel, hey, 
They shall die your death. They shall die your death. They shall die your death. Somebody type it loud in there. Type in there. Shout it loud in there. Type yes there. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't have much time anymore. But this is what I'm telling you now. God used me to save that young girl. God used me to save that young girl. I was always calling her. See, as I'm talking to you now, I don't know the girl. I don't know her. I, if I pray for you, there, no, there is no strings attached to it. When I finish with you, who is the next person? I don't know this girl today. I don't know this girl. E, Mrs. E. Joma Nze in Oka. Hear me? Mrs. E. e. Joma Nze in, in Oka. The father is a professor in Oka. The father knelt down before me one day after morning mass and said, Father, please. I believe that if you pray for my daughter, she will be pregnant. I said, where is your daughter? He said, I am not from here. I came for a wedding here yesterday. I said, let me attend mass today in your parish. I have heard your words. They are gracious words. Please, can I have your number? I gave my number to the man, Professor Unze. I don't know the daughter today. Because if I pray for you, no strings attached. I don't know you. If I finish with you, with the next person? As I, in the evening, the daughter called me. She had been married for seven years. No child, no, no nothing. It wasn't working. So she called me in the evening. She, I listened to her. I prayed to, for her through the phone. I prayed to her for her through the phone. I prayed for her through the phone. I prayed all, I prayed only three times for her through the phone. Like two months later, after two months, it was a Sunday. I was driving to the parish where my phone rang. She has, oh, my shatter, my brother. It was, look, the Lord God has blessed her. She became pregnant so when she called. You need to see the commotion on the other side of the phone. She was a woman of great joy. She was jumping and she gave birth. She called me that she gave birth. She sent the baby picture. Look, if I see her now today, I don't know her. So no strings attached. If I pray for you, who is the next person? Am I communicating here? The woman I prayed for that based in UK, I don't know her today. But God used me to save her life. We have to destroy the hand. That yoke, that body was destroyed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Prayer point number five. Time is on the road. Prayer point number five. I refuse to be a victim of evil manipulated accidents. Hey, yeah. I refuse. Do you know that there are accidents that are manipulated? Accidents that are manipulated. Hey. Evil manipulated accidents. Designed to lead to your death. I prophesy you are not a victim of accidents. You are not a victim of evil manipulated accidents. They manipulated that accident to finish you. They manipulated that accident to kill you. You are not a victim of evil manipulated accidents. I decree upon your life. You are not a victim of evil manipulated accidents. You are not a victim of evil manipulated accidents. In the name of Jesus. When you go, you will return. When you go, you will return. When you go, you will return. Thank you, Abba Father. Prayer point number six. Arrow of death. My destiny is not your candidate. Pass me by with speed in the name of Jesus. Arrow of death. My destiny is not your candidate. Pass me by with speed. I prophesy upon your life. Arrow of death. You are not a candidate. 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 Every arrow of death. They are calling your natal obituary. You are not a candidate. I decree and I declare. You are not a candidate in the name of Jesus. He shall pass you by. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Prayer point number seven. Let us make our peace. Prayer point number seven. Every power of the grave. Hey, hey. Every power of the grave, lose your grip over my life in the name of Jesus. Every power of the grave. Every, there was a marriage I, I officiated. 
There was a marriage that officiated many years, years ago. A week to the marriage, the girl had an accident. Yeah. And there was bruises all over her body. So she had to go to the hospital. She was treating herself before her marriage. So on the day of her wedding, she was like there was some bandage on her leg. She just managed to say, let's go to this wedding. So but what happened on that wedding day? The wedding was to take place by 10 o'clock in the morning. Then by five minutes to ten, there was a, a long traffic and the, the groom, <laughs> the groom was held up in the traffic. And he looked at the time, hey, this is ten o'clock, I ought to be in the church. Look at the time, hey, what do I do? The traffic was so long. Five minutes past ten. 10 minutes past 10, 15 minutes past 10, 20 minutes past 10. He, the, the groom said, no, I cannot wait in this traffic anymore. Let me get a bike. And, and a, a bike was passing. And the groom with his suit quickly entered the bike. And it's YouTube music. zoomed to the, the, and zoomed to the church. And zoomed to the church. And so what happened? When they got to a four junction, very busy junction, a vehicle did not see the bike. A vehicle ran them over. Their wife had an accident last week. He was rushing. He was he was rushing to go and see that he wasn't late about this whole affair. He was he was rushing to ensure that he wasn't late about this whole affair. A vehicle ran them over. But thank God there was no major injury or breaking of bones. The man got up, dusted himself, everything, and took the next bike and got to the church. It was in the church after the whole service had started that somebody came in and brought in another suit, another suit and gave to the man. A week ago, the wife had an accident. And a week after, a week after, he himself, you know, on the wedding day. Look, there are power that wait for people. There are power that wait for people at the edge of their breakthrough. Why will a woman be having accident a week too? And why will a man be having accident on that wedding day? Because there are some strange powers that would allow you to want to, that would let you testify. There are some strange power. That wouldn't let you be. There are some strange power. But I am here for your sake today. Any strange power that is calling your name, that want to finish you before your time, uh -huh. my God will deliver you. My God will fight for you. My God will save you. My God, oh my God, my God will speak on your behalf in the name of the Lord Jesus. Our the experience. So, power that is that have that have had an agreement with the grave. They want to call you to your grave when it is not your time. Of course, all of us will go to the grave. But God is the one that will call us home. Not human beings with their wickedness. Not human beings with their jealous heart. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Not human being. No, the hand of man will not prosper in your life. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. So, what is that prayer point? He's saying, every power of the grave, lose your grip. Look at a man was almost being called to the grave on his wedding day. The man came in and was explaining to me. I just kept quiet. I said, Look, I still would have waited because it's your wedding day. This is your one of your most happiest days. Why will I be angry that you are coming late? Don't worry. But not know that he was trying to beat the time and a vehicle was, a car was running him over. You will not die before your time. Am I communicating here? Amen. Prayer point number eight. Agent of wickedness on assignment to attack my life with death. 
You are a liar. Scatter by fire. Agent on assignment. Agent on assignment. Agent of wickedness on assignment to finish you off. Hey, hear the word of the Lord. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. Agent on assignment. Agent on assignment to finish me off before my time. Hear the word of the Lord. You are a liar. The Lord is raising a standard against you. The Lord is raising a standard. 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 The Lord is raising a standard against you now. Agent on assignment. Agent of death. Agent of accident. Agent of obituary. You are on assignment. You shall derail. 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 I declare. And I declare, you shall derail in the name of Jesus. I give myself away. Thank you, Jesus. So you Prayer quote number nine. You don't have much time again. Blood of Jesus, speak against every life consuming force in operation to take my life. Every life consuming force. Every life consuming force. May blood of Jesus speak against it. Every life consuming force. Against your life, every life consuming power against your family. May the blood of Jesus consume them now. May the blood of Jesus consume them now. May the blood of Jesus consume them in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And wickedness will not prevail against you. Thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Before we before we uh before we take before we take the last prayer point, before we take the last prayer point, now get your anointed oil. You are looking at me now. I requested for anointing oil. Get your anointing oil wherever you are. Get them out, get them out, get them out. Get them out quickly, quickly, quickly. I told you to get anointing oil close to your side. Get them out. Wherever you are looking at me now, get them out, get them out. Yes, before we take the last prayer point, yes, get them out, get them out, get them out. Yeah, get your anointing oil out right now. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? If you are there, type yes now. Just type yes there. I told you to get your anointing oil. So if you are there, just type yes and I'll begin. Because we don't have much time. Yes, get your anointing oil. Get your anointing oil. I need to mark you for life and not for death. Yes, get the anointing oil. Are you right there? Are you right there? Are you right there? Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes, are you there now? Get your anointing oil close by. Okay, good. I have seen yes, Padre, now. Yes, I have seen yes, Padre. I have seen yes, Padre. Very good. I speak to that oil. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak blessing upon that oil. That olive oil. The word of God says, on that day it shall come to pass that the body shall be lifted from your shoulders and the yoke from your neck and the yoke destroyed because of the anointing. I speak blessing upon that oil. Yes, open the oil, open the oil wherever you are. I speak blessing upon that oil. I decree and I declare that the healing power of God enters that oil. I decree and I declare that the finger, the healing finger of God, the healing hand of God touch that oil right now. Oh God, arise. But as we use this oil, oh God, I decree by your power and by your name that your people shall become your touch not. It's the, the word of God says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. As your people anoint themselves, hey, after the blessing of this oil, may they become your touch not. Death will not touch them. Sickness will not touch them. Untimely death will not touch them. Whatever it is that pertains to death, burial, and the grave shall be far from them. I decree, O oh Lord, by your power and by your name, this oil that I bless in your name, I prophesy on this oil that hey, it shall be that which will separate your people when the arrow of death is flying around. Thank you, Abba Father. Sanctify this oil which I bless in your name that as your people use this oil today, their well-being that they seek as they call upon your holy name may be shielded from every aspect of darkness. May they be shielded from every aspect of satanic oppression. Amen. I pray and I bless this oil the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now, in the next one minute, hear me very well. In the next one minute, take the oil in your hand, put on your forehead, and prophesy on yourself. 
I am not a victim of death. Oh, death, I am not your victim. Yes, I met yourself, I met yourself. Oh, death, I am not your victim. 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 I am not your victim. Begin to admit yourself. Oh, I met yourself. Oh, death, I am prophesied on yourself. When we admit ourselves, we don't keep quiet. Prophesy on yourself. Oh, death, I am not your victim. I will not begin to prophesy on yourself. I will not die before my time. I will not expire before my time. Begin to prophesy on yourself. Death is a wicked thing. It can cause a lot of things. But thank God, Jesus has come to change the face of death. But hear me very well. Hey, hey, hey. Anoint yourself right now. Prophesy on yourself. Oh, death, I am not your victim. Anoint yourself and prophesy. Prophesy. Are your children dead? Let the oil fall upon their head. Oh, death, I am not your victim. I am not your victim. Take it by faith. Receive it by faith. Receive it by faith. Oh, death, I am not your victim. Oh, death, I am not your victim. I am not your victim. I am not your victim. Anoint yourself. Anoint yourself. Prophesy on yourself. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Congratulations, somebody. Yeah, congratulations, somebody. It is well with you. That oil in your hand has been blessed. By faith, so shall it be. Amen. Prayer point number 10. Congratulations, somebody. Prayer point number 10. Prayer point number 10. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Yes, I'm not yourself. I'm not your boy. I'm not your girl. Yes, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Wickedness will not prevail against you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. You will not die, you will live. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, ancient of days. Prayer point number 10. Yeah, it's only one hour. Oh Lord, my God, from the north, south, east, and west. Oh, oh sorry. Prayer point number 10. <laughs> Prayer point number 10. I refuse to die the death of another man. Ah, yeah. That was what almost happened to King Jehoshaphat. He was almost dying the death of another man. But I pray for you right now. I refuse to die the death of another man because you have anointed yourself. I prophesy on you. You will not die the death of another man. You will not die the death of another man. I speak as your man of God. I decree and I declare you will not die the death of another man. You will not die every trap of death. You escape right now. The word of God says, Indeed, the snare is broken. That snare is broken. The snare of death is broken. The grip of death is broken. The trap of death is broken. He said, Indeed, the snare is broken. And I have escaped. My help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. I prophesy on you. You escape from that trap. You escape from that trap. Your sick father escape from that trap. Your sick mother escape from that trap. You escape from that trap. He said, Indeed, the snake is broken and I have escaped. My help is in the name of the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. The anointing is upon your head right now. Hear me and hear me very well. The Holy Ghost is upon you. 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 The Holy Spirit is upon you right now. Wickedness will not prevail. Untimely death will not prevail. You will not die before your time. You shall not die. You will live and declare the goodness of the Lord by the power of God and by the power in the name of Jesus. Anyone calling your name to obituary, their name we answer to that name. Their name we answer to that name. Their name we answer to that name. I prophesy on you. Your family will not do burial this year. I prophesy on you. Your family will not do burial this year. Your family will not do burial this year. No obituary is allowed. No obituary is allowed. No obituary is allowed. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone that wants you dead, they shall die your death. The one that tests for your blood, they shall drink their own blood. The one that tests for your blood, they shall drink their own blood. The one that tests for your blood, they shall drink their own blood. The one that tests for your flesh, they they shall eat their own flesh. They shall eat their own flesh. They shall eat their own flesh. You will not. 
You will not die, you will live. You will not die, you will live. You will not die, you will live. I decree and I declare by the anointing of God upon my life and by the reason of the anointing upon your forehead. Hey, you will not die, you will live. You are signed for life. You are signed for life. You are signed for life. You are not signed for death. You are signed for life. You will finish well. You will finish with thanksgiving. You will finish with praise. You will finish with celebration. People shall gather in your house, not for money. People shall gather in your house, not for not for weeping. People shall gather in your house, not to tell you sorry, but they shall gather in your house to celebrate the goodness of God in your life. They shall gather in your house for the goodness of His mercy. They shall gather in your house for your congratulations. They shall gather in your house for your celebration. I prophesy. You shall not die, you will live. Your children will not die. Hey, I decree and I declare. You will not hear bad news from abroad. You will not hear bad news from home. You will not hear bad news from home. You will not hear bad news from home. The anointing is upon you right now. Your children are preserved. I announce a supernatural preservation. I announce a supernatural preservation. I announce a supernatural preservation. I announce by fire a supernatural preservation. A supernatural I decree and I declare a supernatural preservation. You shall not die, you will live. Your children will not die, they will live. Who is calling your name to the beach? You will not die, you will live. I said you will not die, you will live. You will not die, you will live. I announce a provision, a supernatural preservation. You are preserved. 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 You are preserved in the name of Jesus. You are preserved. Oh, you will not die before your time. Thank you, Abba Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, oh. Hey, uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give you thanks and praise. Give me thanks and praise. I give myself away. You will not die, you will leave. I prophesy. You will not die, you will leave. You will not die, you will live. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, patient of this. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. I give myself away. I give myself away. So you. Can use me. I give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. Shaka Salabra. De Baronde. Liga Baronde. Shaka Rodanda. Begin to worship me. 
give myself to you. I bless you with the name of the Lord. Your life is not my own. Your life is not my own. To you I belong. Begin to worship Him. I give myself. I give myself to you. I want to receive as our prayer tonight. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. Worshiping somebody. I give myself. I give myself to you. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. I belong to you. To you I belong. Worshiping somebody. I give myself. I give myself to you. Come on, tell me one more time. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. So can I give myself away. Because tomorrow is the Good Shepherd Sunday and we ought to have a very big feast if not for this coronavirus thing. We do 21 days and we end with the part with the ministry feast. So if you, are, if you belong to this ministry and if you have been following what we have been doing, tomorrow is our feast day. You know what you do on your birthday. So it's a special day and I'm encouraging every one of us in your own capacity, just celebrate because tomorrow is the last topic of tomorrow. I deliberately reserve it for the last topic and it is, I shall see his glory. Can, how can you go through 21 days you will not see his glory? So that last day, I deliberately shifted that one there because after the 21 days, you should see his glory. So you, should, you can imagine how I am coming here tomorrow because the Lord God will, will be in charge, not me. So I want to encourage you in your own capacity, have a celebration, yes, in your own capacity. If it's within your family, cook the best dinner, eat it, celebrate it, because you are seeing the glory of God. I thank everybody since the day we started who have been part of these 21 days. It has been awesome. It has been glorious. May God bless you. May God be with you. And may God grant you every petition that you have lifted up before him these 21 days. Amen. So I am asking you, uh, if you are here to support this ministry, please do so. If you don't have a account number, maybe you are outside the United States, you can reach me on my messenger. You can reach me on my uh, WhatsApp. And I will give you the account details. For those of us in the US, and you belong to our WhatsApp group here, the, the information is right there. But if you don't have, if you don't have it at all, Reach out to me and I will get them across to you. And more so, go and like my page. Go and like my page on Facebook. Follow CIPM with Father Alfred Agbolao. If you don't like that page, you are going to be missing very soon. Because when we begin on Monday with the devotion to rosary, and see, it is not just rosary, you know, don't get me misunderstood. There are impartations that are coming. I will be touching on sensitive things that I didn't touch here. So that one is on that special package for the blessing of somebody. So we are not ending. We are only ending 21 days. But this impartation continues. And I know that my God will do for you what you cannot do for yourself. It is well with you. Father Alfred loves you so dearly. You are a blessing. Cheers. I'll see you tomorrow, 12 o'clock, our time here in the United States, 6 o'clock Nigeria time, and every other time can be to now. Check their own time 
to know where to log in. You are a blessing. God bless you. Take care.